Hello again. In these next two videos I'm going to be showing how to make these shapes. It's a couple of twisted uh, um, straps. Uh, one of them is one full twist, full 360 degree twist and this one is one quarter twist arriving at a 90 degree turn between that tab and that tab. These sort of things can be useful in, uh, in building uh, for tying walls together and strapping bits of wood together at different angles. So it could be useful to show how to depict these things uh, in your assemblies etc. So I'm going to show you how I've made these two 3D models in good old Design Spark Mechanical. So here we are in a new design. And the first thing we'll do is to set three points. We'll put them on 10 millimeter grid there. That's three points. Now we're going to put a rectangle around that. That's a rectangle one millimeter around the points. Pull tool. The middle point we're going to pull into an axis. This is going to be uh, an axis construction line. And these two points we're going to make into a double helix. So we're still in the pull tool. We're going to left click out of this selection so we're no longer selecting anything. Then we're going to select that one and control select that one. We're going to revolve and select our axis. And select revolve helix. We'll stick with the right handed helix, makes no difference at all. Now I've already got the pitch in here, which is 50 millimeters, and we're going to have one turn on the helix, so the height is also going to be 50. So this is the last thing you must do in this, in this operation is always specify the height. Because once you hit return key and you've got all the parameters in, things start to happen. So we'll type 50 and return and there is our helix. Now we want a nice straight piece on our twisted piece of metal at each end. So we're going to add little extension lines on the four ends, but we can't do that in 3D directly. We'll have to generate a sketch plane somehow in order to draw that. So we've got these two ends already selected, we see, although we're in the pull, we'll go to select. Still got them selected. And now with the control key pressed, we're going to select the other two ends. So now in theory, these four points can be can be on a sketch a flat sketch plane. So if I press the K key for sketch plane, we should get a sketch plane encompassing those four points we've fixed. And there we have. We can now press V and get that vertically in front of us. And now we can put our extension lines on the end. So we'll put one here, escape, now there's another one around here somewhere, there it is. And similarly down here.
D4 design mode and we're back in the design mode now at these four points we've got a sharp transition and we don't want that there got quite a sharp transition there and there so I'm going to replace all this, these two curves, with a spline by simply tracing over it with a spline. But to make it easier for us, we'll line it all up. See this tool down here? We'll click on this green arrow facing us and square it up. Now I'm going to use the spline tool. Now one thing you must not do because we're going to do this in 3D is to get rid of this plane. It seems that you need some existing geometry for this bit to work. So I select the spline tool up here and we see we've got a cursor now, it's got a little hatch in it. Now we're wanting to work in 3D so press the escape key, move the cursor, the hash goes away select our first point and you should change to a totally white screen or rather get rid of the the grid so now we can start tracing the spline onto our curve I've found that the fewer points you use the better the result too many points seems to board it anyway so we'll start here now we're, we're, first one is going to be at the halfway point on the straight piece then straight into here then two round about the middle again two here and right into the middle there and the end escape then this one start here and the middle point then straight into here to at the middle and straight into the middle and the end escape now this these are the two lines we are going to play with so we don't need our helper lines the straight lines so we're going to just uncheck them and all we're going to be left with is the spline on the surface oh dear I've unchecked a, a spline so there we are now we're going to extrude this plane up to the whole height but we want to move it down to the bottom so we get the whole length of it so we change to move tool, select the plane, we've got our arrows, select the blue vertical one, <clears throat> then the up to tool, and carefully select the end of one of these lines, click, and now you must make sure that both these ends are on the plane, which they are there, right on there, on the plane, good. Now we switch to the pull tool and we're going to sweep along these two trajectories so we hold the control key and select now be careful not to select a, a point on this trajectory and again here now if you see this you know we're in business so we select our full pull and there we go, and wait a second or two. And there we have our twisted part. Very nice. Now, if we want to extend this end, we can select it with the pull tool. Now, we must also, to get a square tab straight pull up 
we're going to select the edge as well so hold the control key and double click and you should get the whole rectangular edge selected so just type of a number I'll say 20 return let's put a tab on for us I'm going to do the same on this end control key double click now this arrow is pointing downwards so we're going to be careful there so type minus 20 there we go so if we want to make this into some sort of uh, strap we can select the plane select a circle and snap the grid are we on the grid? Right, somewhere around there we'll make it uh, 8 pull There's a nice little twisted strap just to be fancy we can colour it now we'll need to select the solid colour now what do we want there's copper there uh, we have a nice uh, twisted copper strap Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found that useful. Please subscribe. Bye.